Hey guys, today I thought I'd share a really quick video of a quick little update I did in my home with chalk paint and some fabric. I wasn't planning on making a video out of it, but I thought I would share with you guys if you were looking for a little inspiration. So this is our downstairs family room and I really wanted to give it a little makeover, I guess. So my mother-in-law for my birthday was going to teach me how to sew. We got new fabric, but that meant all of the black in this room was feeling a little dark and I wanted to update it. So one night, while Joe was at hockey, I grabbed a can of chalk paint that I already had with the intention of just painting the coffee table. The thing about chalk paint is it's so addicting. You don't need to prime, you don't need to sand, it covers any surface. So I covered the coffee table and then moved on with a different color to the armoire. And then I got slightly carried away. Of course I did the armoire, so I had to go and do the end table to match the coffee table. And my audiobook was so good, I decided to do the fireplace as well. The up, the top part of this fireplace is wood paneling like the walls, just 1970s paneling. And the bottom of the fireplace is original 1970s marble. And I hate it. And I wanted to refinish it with stone, but I just started painting it with paint instead. And that's one of the greatest things about chalk paint. It goes right on stone, right on wood, any surface. Then I decided to whitewash the top now that the base coat, you can see I put my PJs on, it's late at night. I mixed the chalk paint half and half with water and then with a damp rag I'm blending it in. So I'm whitewashing the top over top of the base coat here. Uh, just wiping it on and then wiping it off again. And now I'm going ahead with a darker color, mixing it half and half with water. Again, I'm going to put all the colors down below and I'm dry brushing this on. So removing most of the paint and then just dry brushing it so you can really catch those brush marks I made with the original coat. I covered the whole table in two different darker colors over top, a gray and a dark blue after whitewashing it and I really liked the way it looked. I liked it so much I did the same technique over top of the fireplace. Using a different dry brushing technique I used some dark blue and gray on top of this armoire. This armoire is just inexpensive laminate, but it's really easy with chalk paint to make it look old and antique, and especially love, I'm white waxing it now, clear waxing it, and then going over top with the dark wax that you can get from Annie Sloan to really age it and antique it and make it look more like actual old wood. Really simple, you cannot mess up with chalk paint. There's a lot of better tutorials than this one. I'm really just trying to inspire you guys. This is what the final fireplace looked like. It needed something. That mantle standing out like a sore thumb. So using some leftover um, stain the next day, I put my painting clothes back on and Izzy and I stained the mantle and it looks so much better just using leftover gel stain one coat. Now it was time to decorate. I actually made the, these topiaries myself and I found these lanterns at the dollar store, you guys. And these are the pillows I made all by myself. My mother-in-law taught me how to sew. I found this fabric for a dime and sewed some new curtains and pillows. For the centerpiece, this is everything you see is from the dollar store. I found this little mirror for putting underneath and all of these succulents and things from the dollar store and it makes a really pretty centerpiece. So again, the before, it just needed a little inexpensive update. I did this just overnight uh, in less than 12 hours. It dries really fast. I love the way it turns out. Just a couple little things here and there, not spending a lot. I was really able to transform using the chalk paint. I already had inexpensive fabric and a little bit of elbow grease. I love, love, love chalk paint. You can't mess it up. That's the best part. Uh, and I love all the different techniques that, that you can do with it. Watering down the paint, dry brushing. Um, it's just fun. It's like art, but you can make something beautiful out of something you already have. So now, of course, I have to paint the walls gray and that's coming and stay tuned for that video. But I definitely was able to update it. The fireplace now looks cohesive, much, much better than it did before. I'm trying to go for more of a stone look. 
I really like it. Until someday we'll recover it, but for now it looks great. And we have to keep the couch, so I found this great fabric for $6 a meter that has that rust color and blues, so everything will tie in with that bright, <laughs> that orange rusty couch we have to keep. Um, and as soon as we paint this walls, this is gonna be a super, super fab makeover. Fast, easy, and inexpensive. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I feel so bad for my husband because it is a bit of a, you ever read that book if you give a mess a cookie, then he wants a glass of milk, then he wants a napkin, then he wants to trim his hair, then he needs, you know, and it goes on and on and on. And that's exactly me. It's so me. So we're trying not to spend money right now. We're on a, a, a money freeze, I guess, because we're traveling a lot this year and we have to do some home reno stuff in the backyard that's gonna be crazy expensive. So he's like, we're not spending money on the house, Cass. And I'm like, no problem. Your mom's just gonna sew me some new curtains. And I found this fabric for like $6 a meter. And that's it, Joe, and that's it, Joe. And then I hang up the curtains and I'm like, ooh, but everything else looks so craptacular. And the coffee table doesn't match, but I have the chalk paint. I'm just gonna do the coffee table. I already have the chalk paint, it will cost nothing. And then that leads into the armoire and the fireplace. And now the walls are super yellow. I have to paint the walls. <laughs> and then when I paint the walls, you know I'm gonna need new flooring. It's hilarious, it is so funny. I do this all the time. I'll like go and get a new picture and then the whole room has to be changed to match this just one thing that I do. Tell me I'm not alone. Why do I do these things? Like I stained the kitchen and it was like this oak and then I stained it dark, but then the rest of the house that was also oak, I had, I had to stain the entire house to match, but I never think of these things before I start. I jump into a project and then I'm like, okay, now, now everything else doesn't match. <laughs> and then everything has to be, my poor husband. So um, he's saying no to painting the walls, but he's also going away uh, for a couple of days <laughs> in the spring. Hmm. My mother-in-law, she's like, when he's gone away, you call me and I'll come and we'll paint together. <laughs> she's co totally conspiring because she's just like me. Um, so I had to share that with you and see if I am not alone with that, you know, you give me an inch and I, I need the mile. I can't help it. It must be taken. It's just the way I work. I'll see you next time. <laughs>